Just a few days ago, this building in Aleppo was home to many people. Then rocket struck and reduced it to rubble. In the Syrian city, life for civilians is a constant struggle. There is often no water or electricity. Things can't carry on like this. We need a solution. I've been fleeing the fighting for more than a year now. We've had enough talk. It's time Assad is finally made to pay. According to UN estimates, the war in Syria has already claimed more than 200,000 lives. This young boy was lucky. He survived a rocket attack. The two sides in the conflict have begun fresh talks in Moscow. But here, no one believes a breakthrough is coming. The proposals under discussion at these various conferences have come from people who mean Syria no good. A solution to the conflict has to come from inside the country. But the warring parties don't have the energy for that. In the capital, Damascus, signs of the war are less pronounced. But here too, in President Assad's stronghold, four years of fighting have taken their toll. Ama al Jara is a taxi driver. He fled his home in the outskirts after the fighting spread there. Now he says he's safe, but struggling to survive on just eight euros a day. In our old home, I paid 100 euros a month for a 100 square meter flat. Now I'm paying six times that for two ground floor rooms. That's all I have for me, my wife and five children. Yet in the midst of the war, there are still moments of contemplation. Every week, the screenwriter Ahmad Kanan hosts a lecture, followed by a music session. Here in Damascus, it's difficult to tell who still backs the regime. People are reluctant to voice criticism. Kanan says they're just trying to get on with their lives. In the beginning, when a grenade hit, people talked about it for a long time. Now they only worry about it for five minutes. It's good that people are more concerned with life than with death, but it's also worrying that news of death has become normal. In Aleppo, the front line runs through the heart of the old town. A brigade of the Free Syrian Army is trying to secure its grip on the Saladin district. But neither side can maintain its advantage in the city. Our biggest problem is the lack of logistical support. If we had more weapons and ammunition, we could be more effective against the regime's forces. The fighters take up positions in the ruins. The risk of enemy fire is constant. Assad's forces are stationed in the buildings directly opposite. <laughs> 